we are given a round dielectric cylinder which is polarized in the form of p is equal to alpha r so polarization is proportional to distance from the center and its angle is also always radial so it's radially outwards which means if you take any two surfaces nearby on the right side there will be positive charge on the left side will be negatively charged we need to find the space density rho dash so for that we need to find the surface density first as we have done in the previous problems so let's do that let's say the area of this small element on the this is the lateral area which is a and this width is dr so for this small volume of dielectric we are going to use the polarization vector to find the surface charge density so this is equivalent of a dipole and the charge on the dipole on this side we can say it is sigma a so on this side it will be minus sigma a so the dipole moment we can write from the polarization vector it is p into volume so volume is a into dr is equal to the dipole moment which is in this case q into dr so q is sigma a so sigma a dr which gives p is equal to sigma now the electric field again let's take a point in between these two surfaces so charge density we have calculated it is p so sigma and minus sigma so e inside is sigma by epsilon which is equal to p by epsilon which gives sigma is equal to p is equal to alpha r it is given in the problem p is alpha r so we have found the surface charge density how it varies with the radius now to calculate calculate the space density let us consider a volume and let's say the height of this cylindrical element is l width is dr and it's at the distance r from center so if we know the small charge dq on this element and we know the volume of the element so dq by dv will give us rho r which we need so dq is the surface density on the outer outer surface time area minus space den uh, charge density on the inner surface times area that will give the charge within the sh shell so this can also be written as d of minus sigma a why we are putting minus sign because here sigma represents the inside surface charge which is minus sigma so sigma r plus dr or sigma r is minus sigma so this becomes d of minus sigma a and a is 2 pi rl for this shell so lateral surface area and dv is 2 pi r dr into l so now we divide these two to get rho r dq by dv which is d of minus d sigma a by dv so we put the value of sigma as alpha r and a is 2 pi r l so this becomes alpha so alpha 2 pi l are constant inside we are left with dr square which is 2 r dr so it will get cancelled here pi and l will also get cancelled and you will be left with rho r is equal to minus 2 alpha so again this is the space charge density if you consider within the element if you look at the end of this cylinder all the charges will be positive but inside if you take any space the charge is going to be negative and its density is given by minus 2 alpha a constant